broken by Ryan Krauser. Uh, that World Indoor Tour Birmingham has a pretty cool headline attached to it because it says Laura Muir is going to go for the 1K world record at that meet. Um, I'm looking up the mark right now. 1,000 indoors. Maria Mutola's 230.94. I think she can do it. I think she can do it. 30 seconds. A lap for five laps. That gets you 230. I think Muir is perfect for this 1K. Here's the thing, though. If a thing mode mm. just showed up, She's beating it, right? <laughs> if a thing Mo Ruin runs the like a four 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 nineteen, all everything's gonna be like every conversation about tracks and be like, but you know you, you think Mo wasn't in the race, right? You're like, Kevin, you're talking about the high hurdles. Like, well, you know a thing Mo wasn't a, there. A thing Mo should troll all these record attempts, right? So basically when they're like record attempts, she'd be like, Oh yeah, what time's the race at? Okay, that's what, six thirty, that's like what, twelve o'clock? Central time in Texas. All right. I'm going to go yeah. to my track. I'm going to get my phone out. I'm going to run when you run. I'm going to run as faster than you. And then when you think you broke the world record, yeah. I'll be like, uh, and actually, I just ran half a second faster. Do you think, do you think Mira can get this? She's run 231.93. She's has the third fastest time in history. That was 2017. And you obviously look at her PR. She looks like she's a good candidate for this. Mark outdoors, different story. I remember Faith Kipyegon kept going for the 1K record and couldn't get it, but this one is more attainable. I mean, Muir has a 156 800, and she's got a um, 354 1500, both from last year, too. It's not like those were old marks. Yeah, I think it's possible. I, I, I mean, any indoor world record in my mind is possible, even the major mm-hmm. ones. They're like indoors is built for records. It's what it's about. It's right. about breaking world records. Like, world records mm-hmm. are meant to be broken on the indoor season. That should be the tagline for the season. Indoors, we're built for record, we're for world records. I think she does. But then you don't want too many because then they get really hard, and then you have no more records the next year. No, everyone breaks it by point zero one seconds, and then we keep we can do that a hundred <laughs> times over a hundred years. Like, fine. You, this was great about breaking world you records. You have sprinkle on the records. One hundred, like one hundred intervals between a second, right? So that means you could only have to lower time by one second over a hundred years, and you could have a hundred different inst- instances of a world record. It makes you kind of think. World records, the fact that we keep track of time to the hundredth of a second, is maybe a reason why we have more record breaking than we should. Because if, imagine if we didn't round to the hundredth. Imagine if we only rounded to the tenth of a second. We might have less world records, right? Yes, I'm right there. Right? Am yeah. I hosting this with? Imagine if, am I hosting this pod with Matthew McConaughey? Imagine if we switch, only rounded records Austin, to the full second. <laughs> if we rounded records to the full second, we'd only have like three world records well, ever ra- in the hundred, right? It would be crazy. Well, then you'd have to. But then, how would you? When two people run nine, how would you tell who wins? You need the time to see who wins the race. I test. You just look and be like, who, uh, who, who did it first? I test. Time is like a flat circle, Kevin. Yeah. Thank you, Cole. Time is a flat circle.